Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have our 1968 Ford Mustang. We have three other cars going up this week on our YouTube channel, so be sure to like and subscribe. Also, we just launched this merchandise thing. You can see it right below. So we've got these custom shirts, mugs, even baby outfits. But back to our 1968 Mustang. This is extremely clean, really nice driver quality car. Uh, the paint, I would rate a six out of 10 because there are minor imperfections and the chrome does have some pitting. But if you're looking for something that's solid, that runs excellent and you can jump in with your family and enjoy, this is definitely the car for you. Those Keystone wheels, that was like what you would order from a catalog back in the day, and I love it. They look perfect with this Mustang. You got your horse emblem right here. I love horses, so you should too. Comment below. Okay, back to the car. Mustang emblem looks great right here. Let's go to the front and I'll open it up and show you this beautiful engine bay. It's powered by a 289, and it's pretty peppy. So this has a chrome dress-up kit, a new radiator, new battery, and then you can see the uh, wires for the stereo. So this has a JL setup for speakers, and then it has a digital radio with Bluetooth hookup. Uh, the hood looks great. And then these Mustangs, the signature, this is like the signature Super Snake Mustang from 68. If you look at the front fascia, you can kind of picture it. This is what they put those 428s in. I'm gonna go to the driver's side first. So you're gonna see all of this beautiful metal here. And then the paint, you can see my reflection, not bad, no waves. Uh, you can see that they definitely use filler, but they did a great job. I'm gonna open up the door for you. Look at how nice the chrome looks right here. Door panels look great. You got that custom steering wheel, and then you got your tack right here, an aftermarket auto gauge tack, which works great. Your speedometer is located here, and we'll talk about the interior later when we go for the test drive. Rear quarter looks great. Let me grab the key. Let's take a look at the trunk. Uh, you got your corner lights here, which are in excellent condition. All the lights work as they should. This car was fitted with a new gas tank and fuel lines. Uh, the other one ha seemed to have started to leak. So they had to get taken care of. Green is ignition, blue is trunk, I believe. Mustang. Gotta be this one, I guess. Oh, Mustang. So the trunk looks great. It's got some carpeting here, and then there's some detail spray in case anybody goes to a car show. Uh, these washers are mine, you can't have them. Trunk looks great. And the gaskets are in excellent condition as well. You've got your Mustang emblem up here, and then there's a little imperfection right here. You can see that there's a touch up. Don't look at that too much. Just focus on the drivability of this vehicle. Rear quarter looks great. The tires are in excellent condition. They have 99 or 95 percent tread on them. And then uh, the trim on the quarter looks great too. And then look at the reflection. So you can see my hand. I can see you. I'm gonna open up the door. You can see how nice that interior is. Let's go ahead and jump inside it and go for a ride. But before that, I want to start it up so you can hear how nice this thing idles. Okay? You don't have to get inside it to start. You just pick the color because I don't remember which, what color is the one that started? Blue? Green. green. All right, green it is. Comment below. Starts right up. And it sounds really, really healthy. Got your gas cap here. This is a brand new cap. Let's go. Okay, so we're inside the cabin of the Mustang. Look at how nice the dash is. There's a speaker up here. You've got your digital stereo here that still fits in, the, in a stock location. Our speedometer is located on the left-hand side. You've got your gas gauge, your voltage gauge, your temperature, and then your oil pressure, which they all work. Your uh, windshield wipers, hold on. Where were these things? I don't remember. Oh, here they are. They work as they should. Headliner looks great, and then light works as it should and all the glass goes up and down with ease what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in drive and we're gonna take it out to Ravenswood Road and test it out suspension feels good uh, you can you've got your turn signal indicator which you could see right here and then the other one is over here brakes feel healthy that's Peter art 
our uh, special wrap man. Very special. Driving down Ravenswood Road right now. We're testing out the 68. We're about to go over some bumps here. No funny sounds from the suspension. It is responsive, so you can turn the wheel and it turns in the direction you're supposed to be going. The speedometer is reading properly at 40 miles per hour. And I mean, it's just a comfortable car to drive. The brakes are responsive and they feel good. They're braking evenly, so I could let off the steering wheel and it's not gonna pull. Oh, it pulls a little bit to the, let's see. No, it doesn't pull, we're turning. Ooh, it's responsive, that 289. We're gonna turn right here and then we'll test it out. You ready? Oh, it chirped in a second. <laughs> Such a cool car. <laughs> Mustang love, crowd killers. So we're gonna turn left here. I hope you guys enjoyed the test drive with this 1968 Mustang. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be great so we can continue to give you guys content. We ship worldwide, so if you have any questions about that or you wanna get pricing, 954-363-2261. Have a great day.